very much, dear ministers, Madam Executive Director uh, and distinguished delegates, uh, Selamat Ten Tenahari. It is my it is my privilege to speak on behalf of the European Union and its 28 member states. First of all, I would like to congratulate Mrs. Dato Maimunah Mot Sharif uh, on her appointment of the new UN Habitat Executive Director. <clears throat> Mindful of the role of the UN Habitat as a leading agency on urban issues, we wish her all the best and we'd like to assure her on the full cooperation of the European Union and its member states in carrying out your duties and the upcoming reform of the organization. I would like also to uh, be grateful to Professor Klaus for our very fruitful cooperation in the last years. Thank you very much. The adoption of the new urban agenda at the Habitat 3 conference in Quito was a crucial step forward in the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. It also was a cornerstone of other key agendas of 2015, in particular the Paris Agreement and the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. The European Union sees the new urban agenda as a collective instrument that will empower both the international community and local governments to turn global urban challenges into great opportunities. As former Secretary General Ban Ki-moon noted, our struggle for global sustainability will won or will lost in the city. cities. The new urban agenda ambitiously sets the work ahead for thousands of cities on all five continents. The European Union is strongly committed to its implementation, all the more since it reflects all Europe's own vision for sustainable urbanization. Indeed, we call for an integrated, people-centered and place-based approach that takes into account the diversities of cities <coughs> and their wider territorial context while building on urban rural linkages. The European Union and its member states can pride themselves on having been instrumental in shaping the new urban agenda. As we have now moved into implementation, the European Union and its member states intends to continue playing a leading role by taking forward its commitment. We adopted the ur urban agenda for the European Union, which encompasses many similar approaches and fundamental principles to the global new urban agenda. The urban agenda for the European Union is based on a partnership approach involving local governments and other stakeholders. It aims at strengthening the urban dimension in European policies. This means involving and mobilizing cities in the design and delivery of all these policies. The U European approach seeks to promote a better knowledge, base and effective exchange process leading to more integrated policy making, more effective and efficient regulations and needs oriented funding. Altogether, this entails a significant change to policy making within and for urban areas based on a renewed commitment to strengthening the capacity of subnational and local governments in all aspects of governance. I can assure you of our will to support them, in particular regarding revenue generation and access to finance, including data and statistical capacities. In addition to implementing its urban agenda, the European Union and its member states is also providing substantial external cooperation support to partner countries and cities to take the new urban agenda forward. This not only includes the newly launched European External Investment Plan, but also a wide range projects and of initiative by the European Union and its member states 
in support of sustainable urbanization and urban resilience. Notably, city-to-city -city cooperation has proven its worth and value. We will continue to promote this efficient tool. The political ownership of countries and cities in embracing and promoting the new urban agenda is the key. The European Union and its member states stand ready to share experiences and provide concrete support. The European Union and its member states is also committed to engaging with partners around the globe to promote inclusive and sustainable urban development. Actions should uh, target the specific needs of persons and groups in a uh, marginalized and vulnerable situation, including persons with disabilities, forcible displayed population and persons, asylum seekers and ref refugees, as well as those living in informal settlements and slums. The European Union will support partners to improve the delivery of basic services and social support schemes, reinforce capacity to prepare for and to respond to emergencies, crises and humanitarian disasters, to ensure dignity, including equitable access to food security and decent and affordable housing, and to improve the quality of life of fast-growing urban population. In line with the new urban agenda, the European Union and its member states will promote sustainable spatial Ladies planning. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry to interrupt the speech, announcing the arrival of our Prime Minister of Malaysia, the Honourable Dr. Sri Mohammed Najib bin Abdul Raza. Please stand, ladies and gentlemen, and give a big round of applause. Ladies and gentlemen, please kindly take your seats. So, Ms. Kretu, what a fantastic way to have a speech that the Prime Minister of Malaysia enters when you speak. What an honor, what a privilege. Please continue with your speech, if you wish. That's putting you on the spot. A round of applause. Uh, dear Mr. Prime Minister, I'm Commissioner for Regional Policy from the European Union, and I am here to speak on behalf of the European Union and its 28 member states. I would like just to tell you that for us, uh, new, the new urban agenda is key, and we are very grateful to be here today, and uh, of course, together with all our colleagues, we want to convey the greetings from the European Union, member states, and I wish you good luck in these successful days. Thank you very much.